Hello and welcome everyone to another edition of Coach's Corner. Zach By sitting down with John Mueller, the head baseball coach here at the University of Albany. Coach, uh, just uh, to go over the, the recent history, last week, uh, last weekend, I should say, you dropped a three at Stony Brook, who's the, the best team right now in the America East. And then uh, last night, you, you split with NYIT. You lose the first one in 11 innings and, uh, and take the second one. How, how do you think your team's overall, with a broad stroke, playing right now? Well, I thought yesterday was a much-needed win. I think that we had lost a number of games in a row, and I talked to the guys about it before the second game. I said, you know, this isn't a conference game, but we need to get back to winning so that we get the last out and we remember what that feels like because it's, you know, two games against Quinnipiac, three against Stoney, another one against NYIT. So I think it was important just for the psyche of the guys. Um, I think running the Stony Brook last weekend, we had uh, opened the conference year going 101 at Maine, winning two out of three in a dogfight at home against Hartford, winning two out of three in another dogfight at Binghamton. And uh, we had a tough time with Stony Brook this weekend. You know, our starters ran into trouble, our relievers ran into trouble. I think with the exception of a handful of guys, a lot of guys had a tough outing. But sometimes you get the bats going in game one and, and, and you can't really turn it off till the end of the weekend. So I think that that was the case this weekend against a very good Stony Brook ball club. As you come down the back stretch of the season now, only a couple series less, especially in conference, what are some things that you, you need to clean up before you, uh, you, you conclude the season? I think the number one thing we need to do is we need to continue to play defense. I thought defensively we were pretty good against Stony Brook, much better than against Binghamton in the field. Uh, offensively, they have some guys that are awfully difficult to deal with, um, and we had some we had some good at bats, but we need to string together some at bats when we have guys in runners in scoring position. I think that that's something that's uh, we're going to work a lot on this week. We've talked a little bit about with the guys, um, but you know, one big hit takes care of that. Uh, I think that that's the case. And um, you know, the third thing is we need to get some quality starts. I thought last weekend Brendan Ryan pitched better on his second start after uh, after taking the take, getting injured. I thought he was better. He got in, worked into the sixth inning. It's a good Stony Brook team, um, and Stephen Woods was lights out. Uh, but you know, the rest of the guys, we just need to keep working hard with them. Uh, we'll probably switch up the roles a little bit as we move forward. But um, I think we need to pitch better. I think it really comes down to that, and, and we'll find a way to score some runs the next few weeks. You put your club in a position where you're within striking distance of that of that playoff, and if you can get into that playoff, you're obviously giving your chance uh, yourselves a chance to to to, to win a championship. Um, what do you need to do? Uh, in these next couple series to, to make sure that you're in the mix? Well, I mean, it's probably an old adage, but we need to go out and win. We need to not worry about everybody else around us, in front of us, and back of us. We control our own destiny. Um, if we go out and win ball games, if we play 500, above 500, around there, we put ourselves in position. Um, what we can do is make our life a lot easier by defending our home turf. And uh, we have a very good UMass Lowell team coming in, very veteran, very experienced kind of similar to what Binghamton was like a few weeks ago, playing very good right now. They've gotten some tremendous uh, contributions from some seniors. Um, they got a, a, dy a dynamic freshman, Andrew Ryan, who's pitched very well for them. Um, and they have the group going on Sunday, I'm going to guess, and he's a veteran senior guy who's, who's pitched well for them as well, as well as Kevin Valor. So they, they've got some guys that have pitched well, but we need to worry about all of them. We need to worry about us getting back to getting our starters you know, deeper into the game, um, we have tremendous bullpen, bullpen help on the way when we need it, um, but we need to do that. We need to get their starters out of the game. That's what the goal is this weekend, and I think it's quite simple. I think that all the coaches know that. We need to, we need to get quality starts, and you know, we, I think we've gotten one and a half in the last six conference games. We've gotten quality starts, and we've, we've won two of those games, so we, we need to just get back to that. Right around the corner, you have UMass Lowell, then you step out of conference briefly against St. John's. And then you're at UMBC, who's been terrific at home. I talk about some of the matchups, especially with, with Lowell, who's right on the road. Like I said, UMass Lowell, uh, Coach Herring's a veteran guy. He does a tremendous job with his group. Uh, they're very disciplined. Uh, they're going to get on the bases and try to run. They're going to move guys over. Uh, they're going to try to play baseball the right way, the old school way. So we have a lot of respect for Coach Herring and his teams. Um, we think it's going to be close. We think they're going to be hard-fought games. You're going to have to earn victories against them. There's no question about it. Uh, he's one of the best shortstops in the, in the Northeast, um, but very veteran. Five or six seniors, eight, eight or nine total contributing. Um, and I think that their, their mindset is they're going to try to win this conference, even though they, they can't go to the conference tournament. They have Albany at Albany, and then they have Stony Brook at the end. So I, I think that I give a lot of respect for them because of the way they handle their business, the way they carry themselves. Uh, this is a major task. Um, Stone, uh, St. John's, not a really typical midweek person. You want to go play in the midweek. Uh, very, very difficult team to deal with as well. And then you go to UMBC, and UMBC is probably the best UMBC team they've had in my 16 years that I've been here. If they pitch, 
They play defense. They're getting some star power out of some of their guys. Um, so very difficult as well. So there's no, you know, this is the American East Conference in baseball, and it is a complete uh, dogfight every single game. With the exception of Stony Brook, I mean, everybody is pretty close. Well, Coach, uh, as always, best of luck, and uh, we appreciate you dropping by Coach's Corner. Thanks a lot, Zach. All right. That'll do it for this week's edition of Coach's Corner a Baseball Series. As always, you can catch Coach and I next week as we look back at the UMass Lowell and St. John's games and look ahead to the rest of the America East schedule. For John Mueller, I'm Zach By. We'll see you next time.